welcome dear students to our maths class today we are going to learn the chapter 9 how many times part 5 we will solve all the sums related to the word problems from this chapter now let us solve the first five sums from the test book page number 131 shopping with tables so for solving these sums we need to know the multiplication tables let us start with the first sum how much do these things cost port office cost dash rupees the cost of single one toffee is 2 rupees dear students we will always multiply the number of the objects with the cost of the single object here the number of the toffees is 4 and the cost of each toffee is 2 so to find the total cost of four toffees we'll multiply 4 into 2 is equal to 8 rupees let us see the second sum three pencil box cost dash rupees 10 pencil boxes cost dash rupees the cost of each pencil box is 10 rupees so the single pencil box cost rupees 10 that is solve the sum the number of the pencil box is 3 and the cost of each pencil box is 10 rupees so the total cost of three pencil box will be 3 into 10 is equal to 30 rupees now the next one 10 pencil box is cost dash rupees now the number of the pencil box is 10 and the cost of single pencil box or each pencil box is 10 rupees so the total cost of the 10 pencil box will be 10 into 10 that is 100 rupees third sum the cost of single balloon or each balloon is 5 rupees so what will be the cost of nine balloons to find that let us solve number of the balloons are 9 and the cost of each balloon is 5 rupees to find the total cost of nine balloons we will multiply so to find the cost of nine balloons we will multiply 9 into 5 that is equal to 45 rupees for sum five toys cost dash rupees when the cost of single toy each toy is 4 rupees Let us solve the sum. Number of the toys are five, and the cost of each toy is four rupees. To find the cost of five ru five toys, we'll multiply five into four. That is equal to twenty rupees. Fifth sum. The cost of each face mask is three rupees. What will be the cost of seven such face mask? Now the number of the face mask is seven, and the cost of each face mask is rupees three. So the total cost of seven face mask will be seven into three. That is equal to twenty-one rupees. Now let us solve the next four sums from the page number one twenty-five. Ramu bought four packets of biscuits. Each packet has four biscuits. How many biscuits did Ramu buy? Now, number of the biscuit packs are four. Each packet has 
four biscuits so the total number of the biscuits are four multiplied by four that is equal to sixteen seventh sum there are twelve desks in classroom each desk has four legs what is the total number of legs of the desk let us see number of the desk in the classroom are 12 number of the legs each desk has is equal to 4 to find the total number of the legs of the desk we have to multiply 12 into 4 that is equal to 48 eighth sum Shabiha bought home three bunches of flowers. Each bunch has four flowers. How many flowers were there? Now, number of the bunches of the flower are three, and number of the flowers in each bunch is four. Let us see again. Can you see the bunches? So number of the bunches are one, two, three, three bunches of flowers, and number of the flower in each bunch, in single bunch, is four. So what will be the cost of what will be the number of the flowers? So the to find the total number of the flowers, we have to multiply three into four. That is equal to twelve. One rail coach has eight wheels. How many wheels in all in six coaches? Now we have to find the wheels in all six coaches. So number of the coaches are six, and number of the wheels in each compartment or in each coach is eight. Now we have to find the total number of the wheels in all the six coaches. So for that purpose, we have to multiply six into eight. That is equal to forty-eight. Now let us see the next five sums from the test book. Now let us see the tenth sum. The Almira has four shelves. There are five books in each shelf. How many books are in the Almira? To find this, we have to first see the number of the shelves. Number of the shelves are four, and number of the books in each shelves are five. To find the total number of the books in the Almira, we have to multiply. Four into five will get the answer twenty. A shirt has five buttons. How many buttons would three shirt have? Now, can you see the three shirts over here? Each shirt is having five button. So, number of the shirts are three, and number of the buttons in each shirt is five. Now to find the total number of the buttons, first we will multiply three into five. That is equal to fifteen. Let us recheck the answer. First shirt is having five buttons. Second shirt five buttons plus, and third shirt five buttons plus. So five plus five plus five will be fifteen. That is three times five is. Fifteen. Twelfth sum. There are four fans. Each fan has three blades. What is the total number of the blades in all? 
Now, there are four fans. Number of the fans are four. And number of the blades in each fan is three. So, the total number of the blades will be equal to 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Let us recheck it. First fan, 3 blades. Second, 3, 4, 3, third, 3. So, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Thirteen sum. A box contains six apples. How many apples in all will seven box have? There are seven number of the boxes. And each box has six apples. Now we have to find the total number of the apples. So we will multiply 7 into 6 that is equal to 42. 7 times 6 is equal to 42. How many corners would 4 triangle have? Now number of the triangles are 4 and number of the corners in each triangle is 3. So, the total number of the corners will be 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 4 threes are 12. Now, let us solve the next 4 sums from the test book. Page number 138. Now, let us see the 15th sum. A flower has 5 petals. A bunch of flower has 13 flowers. Now we have 13 flowers. How many petals are there in the bunch? Now we have to find the total number of the petals in 13 flowers. So number of the flowers are 13. Number of the petals in each flower is 5. So the total number of the petal will be 13 fives are that is equal to 65. Let us recheck it. Now 13 flowers are there. So 13 times 5. 5 petals. So 13 times 5 that is 13 times 5 if we add will get the answer 65. A book has 64 pages. What will be the total number of the pages in 8 such books? So number of the books are 8 and number of the pages in each book is 64. So the total number of the pages will be 64 multiplied by 8 will be equal to 512. 17th sum, students stand in a row in assembly. There are 6 rows of students. Each row has 17 students. How many students are there? Number of the rows is equal to 6. And number of the students in each row is 17. So, the total number of the students standing in the row are 17 multiplied by 6 is equal to 102. 18 sum. A design has 3 flowers in it. A piece of cloth has 17 such designs. How many flowers? will be on the cloth. Now, let us see the number of the designs first. 
the number of the designs are 70 and number of the flowers in each design is 3. So, the total number of the design of the flowers will be equal to 17 into 3 is equal to 51.